What if I told you you could create websites like these with just a single prompt and a ChatGPT account? Well, now you can. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can build an unlimited number of custom websites with just ChatGPT and then deploy them to the internet for literally zero dollars. So without further ado, Let's get into it. All right, so I've got ChatGPT pulled up and I'm gonna be using my pro account, but if you don't have a ChatGPT pro account, you don't pay the $20 a month, you can actually code with just a free version. You just won't be able to preview it directly in ChatGPT, which is super nice when you actually wanna see like what the code is gonna look like. But anyways, we're gonna get started here. So I have a new chat pulled up and the first website that I'm gonna try building is a landing page. So think of this like a landing page where you would send someone for a lead magnet to collect their email. So you might make a resource download or you're trying to grow your newsletter subscribers. You'd send them to a landing page where they could potentially download a resource in exchange for their email. And I wanna make this one like a little bit interactive or a little bit cooler than just a normal input your email and get it here. So here's the idea. Can you build me a retro Game Boy HTML landing page where the user has to beat the game in order to input their email and get the lead magnet or resource. The game is the classic dinosaur game where you have to hit the space bar to jump over the incoming obstacles. Like if you've ever been stuck on the Google loading page and it has that dinosaur and you hit the space bar, it could jump up. That's basically what I want to do on this page. And then once the user actually beats the game by jumping over three obstacles, they're going to win the game and they'll have the email pop up form where they can actually give you their email. So let's go ahead and hit send on this. And then we're just going to give ChatGPT some time here to think through it and then actually start coding. So it spent about a minute and 33 seconds thinking, and now it's actually gonna start writing the code here. And we can watch it write the code in real time. All right, so ChatGPT just finished up coding here and this is all ready to go. Now, the only thing that I will mention is that it left an integration note. So if you want to actually have the email sent to an email provider like Beehive or ConvertKit, you'll basically have to just go grab the API from Beehive and then you'll input it in your HTML code here. And you can actually just ask it like, where do I input it? Or you could actually give it the API and say, hey, can you add it to the code for me? For this, we're just going to have it pull up like the mock of what it would look like if they actually submitted their email and their email won't be stored anywhere. But if I were to actually deploy this and you wanted to actually use it as a page, you need to make sure that you add the API so you're actually collecting the emails there. But now that this is all done, let's go ahead and preview this and see what it looks like. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, it looks like a Game Boy, retro Game Boy landing page, jump three obstacles to unlock the lead magnet. So press space or tab to jump. So let's, let's see here, tap to jump. And there we go. We got one, two, don't mess this up, three. Okay, and now we can input our email. How cool is that? You at company.com and get the lead magnet. Thanks, check your inbox. <laughs> That is sick. Okay, so this is all ready to go. So now we can just deploy this onto a real website or domain, and this is totally ready to go. But before I show you how to actually do that, I wanna show you one more example of a website that you could build because this is cool, but maybe you don't wanna build a landing page that has a Game Boy retro feel to it and a game on it. So let's go ahead and open up a new ChatGPT page. And if you don't want to see this and you just wanna see how you can actually deploy the website to a real domain so that it's live and people can visit it, go ahead and skip ahead. I will leave a chapter note at the bottom where you can skip ahead to actually learning how you can deploy this website so it's live. Okay, so the next website that I wanna walk you through here is just a basic one page HTML site that you might use for a local business. So if you wanted to sell websites to local businesses or you wanted to start your own local business and you basically just want a quick and easy and free website that you can build extremely quick and deploy extremely quick, you can use this prompt right here. So in this example, I'm gonna pretend like I own a fencing company here in Wilmington, North Carolina. So here's the prompt. Can you make me a one page basic HTML website for my local business? called Wilmington Fencing. We're a local fence company and I want the site to be optimized for speed, HTML, and contacting us. Sorry, I'm gonna change this to SEO. 
And here's some info to use. So I just gave it some fake data like address, phone, hours, and email. And I will go ahead and let this thing cook. All right, so it thought for a minute and 46 seconds, and now it's going to start writing the code for me. All right, so ChatGPT just finished up here, and now we can go ahead and preview our website. All right, it has everything that I asked for. It has a call button, call now, email us, get a free quote. Uh, why choose us, get a free quote, has a contact form. This is a little bit wonky, um, but obviously you could go in here and like ask it to actually change these specific sections. So why choose Wilmington Fencing, our services. So you could just go back in here and, and ask it to, to take care of certain things, add images. But for the sake of this video, we have a one-page website that could absolutely work and could definitely just rank on Google as a one-page website to kick off a service. So if you wanted to test a bunch of services, so let's say you wanted to test like roofing and fencing and lawn care, you could spin up a bunch of these different websites and basically see what you start getting calls for on Google. I think that this is like the easiest way to test things, especially when all you have to do is have a ChatGPT account and potentially pay for a domain if you want a custom domain like wilmingtonfencing.com or wilmingtonfences.com. Otherwise, this is like completely free. That's a $10 to get a domain and you can test unlimited services in your local area. So that is actually building the websites with ChatGPT. Now the next step here is to actually deploy these websites so that they're live on the internet and people can find them, visit them, and eventually you can rank on Google and start getting traffic or sending traffic to these websites. So here I'm going to exit out of this and I'm going to show you for this example, I'm going to deploy the Game Boy website here. So the first thing you'll need to do is just download this file. So you can see I just downloaded that HTML file. And then the next thing you need to do here is go to GitHub. So if you don't have a GitHub account, it's completely free. GitHub is sort of like Google Drive for code. So you just can upload and keep all of your projects in different repositories on GitHub. So the first thing you'll do is just sign up for a free account. And then once you're here on the homepage, you'll just create a new repository. And for this one, we'll name this like Game Boy LP uh, description, Game Boy landing page. This doesn't really matter much. You can keep it public unless you want to make it private. And then I'll just go ahead and create repository here. Now that we have our repository created, we need to actually upload that file that we just downloaded from ChatGPT. So right here for my downloads, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in here. And now just click commit changes. Now we have this landing page in our GitHub repository. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then from here, you're just going to click on edit this file because we need to actually rename this. And we're gonna rename it to index.html. This is just going to tell our host exactly what this file is. So we're going to commit changes. Now that is set up as index.html. And now the next thing we're going to do is jump over to Vercel. So Vercel is also 100% free. You will need to sign up for an account, but there's no need to pay for anything. This is a completely free service in order to host basic HTML static pages. So we're going to add new from here. We'll just go add new project. And then you can actually see this Game Boy landing page has popped up because it's connected to my GitHub. You'll need to connect your GitHub to Vercel, but once you do that, you'll be able to see all of the projects that you have in your GitHub. So we're gonna go ahead and import Game Boy LP, which we just worked on in our GitHub, and then we will go ahead and hit deploy. Awesome, so it says, congratulations, you just deployed a new project uh, to Nick Conley's project. So we're gonna go to dashboard, and then we can actually look at this live. So this is now live on the internet. So if you sent anyone to gameboy-lp.vercel.app, this is literally live on the internet, and you can actually check this out. I'll leave this in the description so you can check it out yourself. So as you can see, in about 10 minutes, we have built a website, deployed it to the internet, and now people can actually use it. Now, the only step that I would recommend here that I'm not gonna cover is adding a custom domain. So if you wanted to add like nickconleyslandingpage.com, you will have to purchase a custom domain. I use Namecheap. 
Mm-hmm. You can use whatever domain provider you choose. And then from here, you would just go to domains and you would add a new domain. You can also buy domains directly through Vercel, or if you already have a domain that you want to use, you'll just go ahead and type it in here and it will give you instructions to actually add that domain to your Vercel account and then add it to one of your projects. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I wanna hear from you. And as always, I appreciate you and peace.